Hey everyone, my name is Bo Beatty with Wilderness Ridge Trail Llamas, and we are excited to launch our new tent series called the Divide Series Tent. There's three tents that we're going to be releasing, and we worked with Snow Tracker to be able to bring these um, together for you. So we're going to talk today about the Mountain Den. It is our nine and a half by nine and a half tent, and it has a seven foot nine ridge height. And the sidewalls, the vertical sidewalls that it has are 34 inches. And we decided to do vertical sidewalls because when you're staying in a tent for a long period of time, or you're outfitting and you're going in and out, or you need to cook space, having a vertical sidewall is imperative. It adds so much room for your gear and equipment and for sleeping space. And so we really, excited to have a tent that does have vertical sidewalls and to have a tent that weighs only 14 and a half pounds and that uh, has a really micro sized frame, internal frame that's very packable and to be in this size and package is pretty awesome. And we decided to call it the Mountain Den because this is perfect for two people on cots and not the big giant cots, you know, the double wides, but a standard size cot or the ultra right cots that are close to the ground. You can fit two people in there very comfortably with all your gear and all your equipment with a stove and your wood for a couple of days, no problem. And so the Mountain Den is pretty much a four season, anywhere, anytime for two people um, for long expedition stays or short stays. And so that's why we call it the Mountain Den because it's just very comfortable and you kind of feel like you can kind of get through anything and do anything with that Mountain Den. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Mountain Den, show you some of the special features that it has and more of the specifications. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Okay, so here we are at the Mountain Den. Again, it's nine and a half by nine and a half feet, has 34 inch sidewalls, has a seven foot nine ridge height. I'm a six foot and I'm standing right in front of it. So you kind of have an idea of the, it, what it looks like dimensionally. It is a hot tent, so you can use it with the stove. You don't have to use it with the stove. And it comes with a four inch stove opening but you also can get a five inch or six inch if you prefer. I think the four inch is pretty good and you can kind of cut this back pretty simple with a couple slits to get to five inches. And underneath here, it does have a Velcro flap so you can cover this up entirely. And then if it does rain or snow, everything runs off nice and smooth. And so it is a floorless tent, but we have a ground tarp that we sell with it. And so you can run this tent as a sealable um, floor in tent. So I really like that. Some people, love to have a floor and some people don't and so this way you can buy the tent with or without the tarp the ground tarp i highly recommend the tarp i'm a big fan of it and also we have eight inch sod cloth if you look down in here um, for people that are camping in moist conditions also that are looking to have a better seal in their tent or camping in the winter that sod cloth is huge and this tent package with the stakes the internal frame the tent itself and the ground tarp Everything you need for this tent just by itself is 26 and a half pounds. And so it's a pretty lightweight tent for being a breathable canvas material. And so when you fill this material, um, it's very pliable, but also very rigid and it's woven very tight. And so this thing can withstand incredible amounts of rain and get basically rain or waterlogged and still maintain its value um, over time. And so we've been testing it in some pretty crazy rainstorms and I don't like getting wet. That's why I like personally to have a nice shelter. And so um, this handled four inches of rain over three days this last season. And that's about as much rain as we could find naturally and throwing at it in a testing situation. And it did really well. And also the wind rating. So far, we have had wind gusts of above 70 miles an hour, but this is rated for 70 mile an hour winds, especially if everything's you know tied down and secured properly with your guy ropes and your stakes. So the wind rating is pretty amazing on this. And one of the cool things about having a tent it's natural fibers, you know, it's a breathable material, it's all canvas. And so when it's pitched tight and the wind's blowing like crazy, you don't have all this wind flap. So there's no real noise. And so with other tent materials, even if it was the same design because of the stretch that it has and the material it's made out of, you have tons of wind flap. And so when the going through, you're in the back country in a storm and the wind begins to howl and you're just tent just in there. Pop, 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 pop. Well, you won't have that with this. You'll sleep like a baby as long as you can sleep through the storm. And so uh, that's a big feature that I'm really excited about. If you kind of take a look over here, 
you've got our logo, Wilderness Ridge Trail Almost, and also the Snow Trek logo. This is a team effort that we came together to produce this. So all the years, Snow, snow Trekkers years of producing tents and all of our years in the backcountry and then fumbling through the project over the last five years, this is where we stand. So it's pretty exciting. Okay, so a lot of people ask me about the vent hole. They think that it's the spot where you, if you did set that up with an A-frame where you'd put the ridge pole. And the truth is, this is not where you put the ridge pole. <laughs> you put the ridge pole on top if you're gonna run that, but I'll talk about it in a second. So you can leave this vented open on the outside. You can leave it vented open on the inside. You can tie it together on the inside, or you can tie it together on the outside. And here are your ties. So we try to do totally away with clips and buckles because when they get cold and you have them for 10 years and you're using them at a high level, you know, throughout a commercial season, they just end up breaking. You'll notice on our doors here that we have um, tie closed doors. And it's just pretty simple to tie these closed, you know, and even if you just do a simple knot, you keep these babies uh, locked and you don't have any buckles again to break or to replace. And it's just pretty simple to tie these open and also you also save on weight. So we we're pretty weight conscious when we we're putting this thing together. That was one of our thoughts and uh, things that we really wanted is this, okay, let's cut out the stuff that's gonna break and let's keep everything as light as possible, but also durable. If we're gonna have a tent that's mid-weight, but also lightweight for what it is, we need to, it needs to be very durable. You know, people have to be able to use this and abuse it and it needs to work day in and day out on high commercial end type levels as well as you know residential style packing and, and working so okay so all of our guy ropes are made out of paracord and they're all orange not because uh wilderness Ridge trail llama's color is orange but because it's just a great color to be able to see at night and it gives a little bit of visibility and pop and so they're pretty simple the system we have set up you just put a bowl on knot at the end of your uh, guy rope put it on your stake and then you just tighten it up and we'll go take a look at the side guy rope over here. It's just slightly different. So here we are on the side of the tent of the mountain den. And you'll notice that we have, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up. You notice that we have a clip that goes on to the side of the tent. And this clip hooks on to our sidewall here. And so what that does is it pulls our sidewall out so that when we are in a windstorm, rainstorm, or snowstorm, that we don't have to worry so much about wind flap. And then we have a, a tent that's pitched taut enough that it's going to um, have all, all, everything run down off of it, off of a hard ridge pole. Having that hard ridge pole is key because it gives you a base for everything to stem off of if you're trying to get rid of moisture, uh, such as snow and rain. And then to keep your sidewall vertical and to keep it strong and rigid, which is really important, especially when you get into heavy snowstorms, um, this kind of keeps everything propped up and keeps that really nice and rigid, which is imperative to having a tent that's gonna last over time and stay durable and strong during bad storms. And so we just spend so much time in the backcountry, and as you do that, you just come across bad weather. You know, if you only went when there was good weather, you'd never go. And so this is the side, side guy rope, the vertical upright to keep the sidewall nice and rigid and uh, keep your tent pitched tight. So another one of the features of the tent, which is this is a patent design on these clips. And also when you go inside and we'll take a look at another patent design on this tent. Okay, again, I'm six foot and I'm standing in tall, standing up in the tent, kind of on an uphill. And so I'm dead center in the tent. I have plenty of space. Here I am <coughs> sitting next to the tent on a 34 inch sidewall. So again, this is the sidewall, a full 34 inches. And I wanted to show you guys something that I think is really cool. These are the patented unions um, that Snow Trucker came up with. They're phenomenal. They make putting your tent together extremely fast and easy. And uh, these are ultra lightweight and also orange, kind of help you from losing them. And they've got, see this hole right here in the bottom? This allows you to have and put up a really nice drying rack. And not only that, but it actually adds, the tighter this is, it actually adds strength to your tent and your ridge line. And so I've used this many, many times and I hang lights upon it quite a few times, you know, some nice uh, solar power LEDs. And it works really great. So those are the unions. This is our ridge pole, which is really durable. And this is the inside of the nine and a half by nine and a half mountain end 
weighing 26 and a half pounds with all the fixings. So when putting this tent together, some of our thoughts were, we wanted to be able to have a spike tent that felt more like a base camp tent. And we wanted people that are using a, you know, a lot of motorcycles, side-by-sides, Argos and things like that, to be able to have something that was gonna keep them warm, keep them dry, and be able to transport it relatively easy and set up by themselves. You know, setting up, a, for example, a 12 by 14 wall tent can be really tough by yourself and take a lot of time. Where these tents get that similar style and feel as a hot tent and they set up in, you know, a fraction of the time. And also horse packers and llama packers, we just needed something that was gonna fit our needs better than what was out there in the market. Again, I think those tents that are out there and the manufacturers that are currently producing shelters and tents are phenomenal companies producing amazing and innovative products. But uh, there, again, there wasn't one size fits all. We wanted something that filled nine out of 10 boxes and fit our needs as llama outfitters and people that spend a lot of time hunting and camping in the fall in the late seasons. And so having hot tent for me and my family was just something that uh, we needed to have happen. And here we go. So for horse packers and llama packers, I think this is gonna be something that people really thoroughly enjoy and uh, helps them out by saving them weight, saving them space, and then saving them time while setting up, but also keeping them very comfortable and warm inside of the shelter, so. As an outfitter, I'm a big fan of redundancy. Being able to have something set up in case something fails, you know, and having duplicates have everything that you're going to need just because stuff breaks, stuff gets lost and um, wears out. And so what we decided to do is to be able to have this tent set up with a rope or, you know, traditional style um, lodge pole set up. And so you can run this ring and the ring, there's a ring on the back of the tent and you can set this up with a lodge pole as an A-frame style or you can set it up just with rope. And we have tried it a few times and it does work very well. And I'm a big believer though in this internal frame. So hopefully the frame doesn't get lost or uh, damaged somehow in transit and you can always use it. But just in case, if it ever happens, you can use this. And so this is kind of part of our redundancy plan and being able to set these tents up in more than one way. So I think that's a really big win for this tent is that it can set up in more than one way without its internal frame. <coughs> And when talking about this internal frame, one of the coolest things I think that we did with that is we broke it down to 22 inches. And so every single piece of this frame, it only weighs six and a half pounds and breaks down to 22 inches. And so it just is very packable and it's very user friendly. That's why I think our Mount Den is going to be one of the best sellers is because it fits so many different needs. It's very packable for guys that are using people that are using horses or llamas, people that are in there. Uh, front country camping out of their vehicles. It sets up in 10 minutes, has an internal frame that breaks down to 22 inches, and it's only 26 and a half pounds, including all the stakes, the ground tarp, the tent, and the internal frame. So I think it's gonna be uh, a big seller. I'm excited to show it to you guys. And we do rent these out. <clears throat> so if you guys are using llamas, you're renting out llamas from us, or you're going on your own private or personal trip, you, we can ship these out to you and you can rent them out and try them out, see what you think about them. And, or you can pick them up at a ranch facility in Idaho Falls. So kind of cool to be able to use these. We're also renting these out of Tor, Utah, I forgot. So you can rent these out of Tor, Utah if you're down in the area and want to try them out. So this is the Mountain Den, nine and a half by nine and a half. Our dimensions has a vertical sidewall of 34 inches. It is a hot tent. It is a breathable material. It's a six ounce canvas, which is an extremely lightweight canvas. The tent itself is 14 and a half pounds. Internal frame is six and a half. And everything put together, this tent with the ground tarp is 26 and a half pounds. Now, if you add what we recommend, the Riley stove, you're at, and put, pack it in one of our llama panniers, it ends up being 40 pounds. So you can pack your tent, your stove, and everything you need to set up your tent stove inside of one pannier, so half of a llama basically, because llamas will carry about 80 pounds, and so you'll put 40 pounds on one side of your llama, and it'll be inside of one pannier. Let me show you. So inside of here, we have one tent, one stove, and everything fits in there perfectly, and it's 40 pounds exactly. And so your llama, can have everything that you need for your entire camp set up in one pannier. And so that was kind of our goal. Our goal was to be able to have a tent that could be a four season breathable tent that had head, head space and sleeping room 
and to be able to fit all in one side of one pannier. And we did it. So thanks to the work at Snow Tracker and teaming up together and lots of nights in the back country thinking about <laughs> how to make a better shelter and tent, we did it. So try out our Mountain Den 9.5 by 9.5. You can check it out on our website. Give us a call. Also numbers on the website and uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. So our company over the last 10 years has almost gone through 5,000 tents in total circulation between all the ones that we've used, broke, repaired, tested, and that we have in our arsenal and fleet right now. And after using our Mountain Den and all of our other series, this is by far my favorite tent. This is my go-to tent. And truth be told, you know, I can talk shop with all the tents and manufacturers out there and understand their stitch patterns, how they use them, why they decided to use them, how they broke down their patterns, what type of material they decided to use, the different stretch and deflection that all goes into making a tent, the different you know materials that they use for the guy outs and the different uh, metal fasteners and all that stuff. You know, we've been through the rigmarole and kind of learned um, a lot of stuff in the process. And truth be told, the nine and a half by nine and a half mountain den is by far my number one go-to tent. If it's just me, and one other person, there's just no other way that I would go, especially by using llamas going into the back country. I went and front country hunted last year, and I could have used my big giant wall tent that I have from Montana Canvas, and I love Montana Canvas, but I use my mountain den. It's my go-to. It's fast, it's easy, it's quick to set up. It's a one-person setup system, and it's just hard to be beat. So, and uh, the truth is, you know, I don't know very few, if any, tent manufacturers and suppliers out there that allow you to test out their tent and rent it out for a while to see if you like it before you buy it. And so if you don't know if you want to buy this tent and you want to try it out or you want to get hands on it, just let us know. Rent one of these out, see what you think about it. And if you like it, well, there'll be one for you ready in the shopping cart. And if not, send her back and we'll keep on using it in the fleet. So those are the specifications and dimensions of the mountain den. And to top it all off, it's made right here in the US of A. We're really excited to bring it to you. You can jump on the website to read all about the specifications and dimensions. If you have any other questions, you can reach out to us um, on our website through email or also at Instagram at Williams Ridge Trail Llamas, or you can uh, simply just give me a call. I'm the one that's answering the phones, and so I'll help you out. And uh, love to see you guys get out there and enjoy the wild using one of our tents, especially my go-to, the Mountain Den, our lightest and most versatile tent that we offer. So check it out. We'll see you guys in the backcountry. country.